Okay, we have here a coordinate geometry problem without the coordinate plane, which means you should draw out the coordinate plane. Make it easier on yourself. It doesn't take long. If I can do it, horrible artist here, you can definitely do it. So what do we have? Line K goes to this XY plane. The X intercept of this line is negative 4. Let me actually come down here. And for some reason, I am drawing the Y's because we don't care about Y's. We only care about X because we're looking here for the X intercept, which is negative 4, 0. And again, X intercept just means where does it cross through the X axis? And this guy right here, of course, is the X axis. Now, they're giving us some extra information here because they want us to actually find out what is the slope of line K. And they're saying that line K passes through the midpoint of a line segment whose endpoints are 2, 0, which is 1, 2, right there, 2, 0, and then 2, 9, which is the same going right, and then all the way up 9 over here. So 2, 9, we have 2, 0 down here. There's our line segment. Let's draw it. There we go. And it's not passing through either point, but passing through the midpoint. So what is halfway between this point here and this point? Well, we don't worry about the 2 because it's a straight line. We just worry about how far up it goes. And it goes up a total of 9. So half of 9 is 4.5. So this point right here is 2 and then 4.5 up. Now we have enough points to determine what the slope is. So we can use our little slope equation here. We're going to subtract 4.5. We start with the y's minus this y over here, which is simply 0. Makes life easy. And then the x's, because we started with this y here. Make sure we start with this x, so that's 2, and then minus the negative 4 at the bottom. That gives us 4.5 over 6. And you can see that, well, they're asking for a fraction, and what I've done here is, well, I've put a little decimal in there, but don't worry about that, because what happens when we double 4.5? Well, we get 9. That's great. And if we double the top here, we should double the bottom, and there's 12. And now we can use our standard reduction here and divide both 9 and 12 by 3, and that gives us 3 over 4 which is the answer.